What was so bad about the period from 1776 to 1914? Well, the doctors complained a little bit because that was in the, it was in the 20th century. The doctors, like all business people, decided that there ought to be a monopoly. That if you wanted a little bit of uh, codeine in your cough medicine, it would be much better if you come to me so I can charge you $25 for a prescription, and then you can decide whether or not you need codeine in your cough syrup because, uh, of course, that's good for business, good for the doctor. So this is what happened. Before the 20th century, there was none of that. And it was the medical profession, as well as many other true groups, that agitated for the laws. And, I tell, and there's a pretty good case made that this same concept was uh, built in with racism as well. We do know that opium was used by the Chinese, and the Chinese uh, were, were not welcomed in this country. We do know that the blacks uh, at times used heroin, opium, and this, the laws have been used against them. There has been uh, times that it's been recognized that the Latin Americans used marijuana and the laws have been written against them. But lo and behold, the drug that inebriates most of the members of Congress has not been touched because they're over there drinking alcohol. We, had one, we haven't had many pieces of legislation in the four terms I was in Congress, but there was one piece of legislation that came up that was dealt with drugs. Hardly in the area of the freedom discussion that I would like it to be in, but it was, had to do with uh, legalization of heroin. It wasn't to make it available. It was to merely make it legal for me as a physician to prescribe it to somebody who had intractable pain, that had cancer, and was not responding to morphine. Now, does that sound like so much to ask? And yet, that vote came up, and there was about 20% of the members of Congress that were willing to vote to allow the physician to give the heroin to a dying cancer patient. And their explanation to me was, well, I don't think I could explain it back home. It might be that I won't get easily reelected if it looks like I'm soft on drugs, as he went off to his next cocktail party. No, there's, there's something wrong with the system. We do need a few more people of courage in the U.S. Congress. But who should we blame? The U.S. Congress? Partially. Who else should we blame? You and I, because we don't do enough to make sure the right people are over there and that we vote for the right people for the presidency and the Congress as well.